Storytime with Tom Foolery presents Everybody Porks Written by Sean A. Kennedy Mama, I have a question. I was wondering, where do babies come from? Well, you may hear that babies grow in patches or that they are brought by storks. But the truth, my little piglet dear, is that everybody porks. I... I don't get it. Hmm, how to put this? When two piggies like each other, they may begin by dating. And if those piggies fall in love, they'll do some baby-making. Wait, so parents make babies? How does that work? We shared a kind of special hug, which sounds a little funny, but it lets you grow up nice and snug inside your mama's tummy. Okay, but how did that work for you and papa? Good question. We had a romantic dinner surrounded by candle lights and wine, then went dancing out on the town and had a grand old time. We came back home all alone. Both our hearts were quaking. Your papa got to baby zone once mama shook her bacon. I think I understand. Now is it the same for everyone? Do their parents make them too? What about Charlie Beaverton? What did his parents do? I am glad you asked. The Beavertons make dams that stop water like a cork. But to make their little Charlie, they would surely have to pork. It's the same for lots of the animals, my dear. For example, Kitty cats may pork in the alleyways, while our canine friends pork in the doggy door, while porcupines will pork very carefully. Bunny rabbits pork and pork until they're sore. Hmm, what about animals from really far away? Do they make their babies the same pork in way? They sure do. Let's take a look at some. Papa monkeys pound their chests to show the tribe that they are strong. They'll even flash their rumps to stress that porkin time has come along. Cheetahs pork with lightning speed, regardless of the mama's needs, before they even blink an eye. A baby cub will soon arrive. I swear this never happens. Giraffes may get a little freaky. They are tall, but very sneaky. They like to hide where no one sees, with their heads above the trees. The woodland creatures follow suit, like owls who will yell, Hoot! Hoot! What do you mean, who? Moving on to woodpeckers, who make loud noises with their beaks. Some may call them tree wreckers, but they're just making baby peeps. Even skunks pork just the same. But heed my warning when I say, if they're close, we hold our noses because it will not smell like roses. What about the sea creatures? They have to do it differently. While they have different features, they pork just like your pop and me. Think of giant sea turtles who do it in the seas and swells. They overcome some big hurtles but really come out of their shells. 
Just a few more minutes. I'm almost there. Dolphins like to swim and play. Their favorite game is hide and seek. But when it's baby making day, you may hear them yell, "Eek, eek!" Thanks, Mama. I cannot wait to ask others if they pork. Not so fast. Remember, we all may pork at many times in many places. But if you ask a stranger that, they will surely give you funny faces. All you need to know for now is the question: where, not how. What matters more than all above is where babies come from, and that's from love. Everybody porks. Written by Sean A. Kennedy, narrated by Tom Foolery. Well, I don't know about you, but all this talk of pork is making me very hungry for a bacon sandwich. Would you like a bacon sandwich? Served by Kevin Bacon from Footloose. What do you mean you don't know who Kevin Bacon is? Doesn't matter. He's bringing a bacon sandwich. Yay! Let us know in the comment section what kind of animal you are. Are you a fast and furious cheetah, or a slow and steady turtle, like a teenage mutant porking turtle? Yeah. Finger the links on screen. More story time coming soon. See you next Turtle Day.